Now, an Atlantic Pulse weather update. Well, here we take a look at the current satellite. We can see a trough of low pressure extending from northern Newfoundland back across northern New Brunswick. It will be sliding slowly south over the next 24 to 36 hours and rain with it. The forecast for overnight tonight for the Maritimes for northern New Brunswick and the eastern portion of the Prince Edward Island before daybreak, cloudy with showers, chance of a thunder shower as well. Temperatures getting down to about 16 or 17 degrees. There will be considerable fog along the Bay of Fundy and Atlantic coast. But for Nova Scotia, no precipitation, just partly cloudy except for the extensive coastal fog. Temperatures by daybreak generally about 15 to 17 degrees, so a rather, rather mild night. For the day tomorrow, northern New Brunswick, and that rain will move a bit further south to cover southern New Brunswick, but there is a heavy rainfall warning out for amounts of up to 60 millimeters in the next 12 to 18 hours. Periods of rain, chance of a thunder shower, and that'll cover Prince Edward Island as well. However, much of Nova Scotia won't see the precipitation until tomorrow evening, so a lot of sunshine, particularly in Cape Breton Island. Coastal fog moving out by around midday. Temperatures, another warm day, 25 to 28 degrees. Now, overnight tonight for Labrador, just a few clouds. Temperatures getting down to about 7 to 9. For Newfoundland, the southern area is cloudy with extensive coastal fog, but through the northern areas, Gander to St. Anthony, cloudy with showers or periods of rain. Temperatures of 10 to 14 degrees. For the day tomorrow, pretty much the same picture. Sunny in St. John's and Labrador, cloudy with a chance of showers elsewhere.